everyone, Kirk Whedon for NFC, the nonprofit fundraising channel, in this special edition of our five-minute moneymaker series. You know, usually we focus each NFC episode on a very different revenue generating strategy. But for this particular video is very, very different. Many of you have probably have seen Mr. Murray, the owner of Pee Wee Products Incorporated, who's brought a lot of information and humor uh, to our various videos that we've produced. Well, we've received numerous inquiries from viewer asking if Mr. Murray is really a successful toy manufacturer. So this video is an answer to that question. No, Mr. Murray is, does not own the toy manufacturing company, Pee Wee Products Incorporated. In fact, Mr. Murray is not Mr. Murray at all. He's actually Dr. Murray a retired plastic surgeon who is a remarkable man living in an even more remarkable home. Dr. Barry's house is one of the most extraordinary residents in America. It's filled from floor to ceiling with priceless documents and artifacts. I recently asked Dr. Murray, who also happens to be a very good friend, if we could get an inside look at his home. Great to be here, Kurt. Thanks for having me. Well, you're welcome. You know, before we get started, uh, I wanted to let our viewers know that for security reasons, we are not going to disclose the location of your home. The room that we're sitting in is something I call the room of the presidents, a wall of the presidents. Could you tell us a little bit about just the collection that you have of all of the American history? So this wall uh, does contain uh, presidential documents related to every president of the United States. One of the most interesting documents is a document signed by Andrew Johnson as president of the United States. Mm -hmm. And the entire document is handwritten, which in itself is a very interesting thing. It has a presidential seal on the backside. And what it actually is, it's a pardon to George Washington's nephew who was convicted of counterfeiting. I have a, a document signed by Barack Obama as president. It's on White House stationery. And he's responding to a woman who had written to him complaining of the burden that her medical costs had placed upon her. And he writes back to her saying, that's why my medical reforms are so important. During my visit with Dr. Murray, I asked what prompted him to become a collector of such important and valuable historical items. Well, the value lies in the stories behind each of the documents. Every document has a story behind it. And if you love history and if you love the stories behind them, then, it, it, you know, it, it's a labor of love. The wall of precedents could be in and of itself a college graduate school semester in American history. But that's only one room in Dr. Murray's home. I asked him if we could visit another part of the house, which features, among other things, a rare copy of the Declaration of Independence. So, Murray, here we are in another room, the stone copy of the Declaration of Independence. Is that for real here, though? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, the story behind the stone copies is actually very interesting. In 1776, uh, the original Declaration of Independence is written. And then they take it around so everyone can see it. And in its travels around the country, it's getting wet, it's getting torn. And they see that the condition of the original is getting uh, quite bad. So what they decide to do is they commission this fellow by the name of William Stone to produce 200 copies of the Declaration with original ink from the Declaration. And today in the archives, all that's left of the original is a very postcard size uh, piece. And right next to it is a stone copy. Dr. Murray's private residence doesn't just offer us a look at America's past. There are also collections of artifacts that date back centuries. In other parts of your home, we measure history in hundreds of years. In this room, it's thousands and thousands of years. Give us some uh, insight as to a few of the pieces here. Yes, so these are antiquities. So they go back thousands of years in many cases. So for example, uh, this over here is a um, bust of an Egyptian pharaoh. And the detail in this is really exquisite. He's got an amazing headdress with cobra and wings, and it dates to 305 BC. Well, Dr. Murray, 
Um, thanks so much for opening your home uh, to our viewers of the N NFC channel. For many reasons, Murray. Uh, thank you so much for what you do and for putting out the welcome mat for us today. Thank you so much, Kurt. It's been a pleasure. In addition to helping NFC bring money-making ideas to nonprofits, uh, Dr. Murray is himself a generous donor to not-for-profit organizations. He also spends part of every week volunteering his services, and he's brought his healthcare skills uh, to Malawi, Africa, where he's provided assistance uh, to a country badly in need of medical services. So, while Dr. Murray's home is itself an extraordinary treasure, so is its owner. I hope you enjoyed this special NFC presentation. This is Kurt Whedon, looking forward to being with you again soon.